Good morning, children. A very good morning. Once again, welcome in e-learning classes, science class. You know which chapter we are going on? Chapter four. What is the name of the chapter? You know? Have you remembered? The name of chapter is separation of substances. Whatever the we have studied in the earlier classes about the two method of separation. Is it clear? Two method of separation. Which type of mixture we are taking study? The mixture solid dissolving liquid. But today I will take another type of mixture, and they get separated by another process of separation. So today I will take two or three different method of separation. Which type of mixture we will take today? The mixture of solid that does not dissolve in a liquid. Solids which do not dissolve in a liquid. Is it clear? So different method, different mixtures are separated by different process of separation. So today I have taken only three process of separation. Just I have written on the board three process of separation. Now look at the board. Look at here. This is the chapter chapter four, and this is second number of second number solids which do not dissolve in liquids. Variety of materials are there. Earlier we have studied about the solid which dissolve in a liquid. In earlier earlier classes we have studied the separation method evaporation and crystallization in which solid which dissolve in a liquid but today on today i will discuss about the mixture what type of mixture solid which do not dissolve in a liquid solids which do not dissolve in liquids a what type of solid mean there is a variety of materials there is a variety of mixtures around us so variety of mixtures are separated by variety of process also so today i will take only three method of separation first method of separation is sedimentation second one is decantation and third one is loading today i will discuss with you three process of separation which type of mixture are separated solids which do not dissolve in liquids by involving three process of separation sedimentation decantation and loading but before i discuss these three method of but before but before i discuss these three method of separation but before discussion of these three method i would like to arrange the activity which activity to sedimentation method activity i would like to arrange and show you ki how that sedimentation process take place in separating the solid which do not dissolve in liquid so let us perform Come the arrangement let us perform activity which process we are taking today sedimentation decantation and loading so i will just arrange the apparatus arrange the activity for which process sedimentation process so i have arranged some look at here this is the this is this is a glass of water look at here this is a glass of water because we are going to perform an activity sedimentation and this is the mixture look at here this is mixture of soil soil mixture and sand soil and little pebbles also so let us first arrange this activity arrange this pattern i just mixing this this is a solid that do, do not dissolve in liquid this is a solid soil mixture soil is a mixture solid that does not dissolve in liquid so i am keeping this soil mixture inside the glass look at here look at here this process is sedimentation we are going to perform an activity of sedimentation look at here look at first i will stir the mixture inside the glass i am stirring stir the mixture properly because this process is 
sedimentation look this is the sedimentation process i stir it properly and let it stand undisturbed for few minutes let it stand undisturbed for few minutes after that after few minutes i will again come in front of you and see the this process sedimentation process how the material gets settled at the bottom of the container this is a glass here the material will settle down after few minutes all this material settled down so what were the material settled at the bottom of the container that is called sediments sediments after the sedimentation of the material at the bottom of the container this material settled material is called sediments so wait for few minutes so let it sediments in few minutes two or four minutes after that again i will come and show this mixture how this mixture settled down at the bottom of the container now look at this glass look at this glass you are seeing this is the material mixture that settled down material that does not dissolve in a liquid that settled down at the bottom of the container look here look settled down this material that settled down at the bottom of the container that is called sediments sediments and which process is going on sedimentation have you seen the earlier before 7 or 8 minute earlier what type of mixture how dirty this water was and all this material of this mixture settled down at the bottom of the glass so such material that are settled at the bottom of the glass that is called sediments that is called sediments and which process of separation is going on sedimentation but right now one more process of separation i will show or do activity in front of you this is the sedimentation process one another process that is decantation that the simple both the method of separation is correlated decantation and sedimentation this material that has settled down that is sediments sediments this process is going on that is sedimentation one more process one more one more thing an activity your mama does at your home when your mama cook food then wash rice and pulses whenever the mama cooks food then wash rice and pulses for cooking to so washing rice washing rice and pouring water washing rice after few minutes all the rice and dal settle down at the bottom of the container that is sedimentation that is also sedimentation and whenever mama pour the water into the basin or the throw away that is decantation this process is also sedimentation and decantation when your mama cooks food in your house then washing of rice and the dal during washing rice and dal settle down at the bottom of the container whatever the container and after that mama pour the water dirty water above the material that is called decantation pouring of water from the material from the utensil or the container that is decantation so today right now i will also show the decantation process also this is the sedimentation process without the disturbance of the sediment without the disturbance of the sediment this clear water is easily pour into the another content like this without the disturbance of the this is called decantation this is called decantation in this glass sedimentation take place and this clean water is pouring out you are transfer to the different container this is called decantation this is decantation without the disturbance of the sediment without the disturbance of the sediment pour clean water into the another container this is called decantation this is decantation this is decantation but this sedimentation process is little slow it takes time for sediments the material this sedimentation process takes some time for settlement of the material so to speed up the sedimentation to speed up the sedimentation one chemical is used that is called alum i will show you alum this to speed up the sedimentation a chemical is used to speed up the process of sedimentation is it clear 
in next process that is the loading process i will discuss with you do you know what is this process pouring clean water what is this process this process is called decantation this is the clean water is transferred from this glass without the disturbance of the sediment this is called decantation is it clear now i will show the activity of loading process loading loading this glass also having very fine particles look at look at here very fine particles of dust very fine particles of dust this fine particles will settle down with the help of a chemical alum alum i will show the alum and perform this activity also this is the sedimentation this is decantation okay is it clear after that i will show the activity of loading do you know loading loading process means whenever the any of the time whenever you visit from school to house lot of dust are floating in the air lot of dust particles floating in the air was just time over uh, just that time if it rains if it rains over there all the dust particles settle down that is also a loading process that is also a loading process you know that is loading process but whenever sometime some shopkeepers having floor having not cemented not cemented floor that time that are uh, brooming the floor that time they sprinkle water do you know sprinkle water for what shopkeepers sprinkle water around their shops for what to load down the dust particle during brooming is it clear this topic this passes having an exercise question in your exercise ki why do some shopkeepers sprinkle water around their soaps do you know the shopkeepers sprinkle water around their soaps to load down the dust particles that are floating in the air this is that is also loading and one more process i will show you by using a chemical alum loading process i will also show you next time as i have shown you an activity of sedimentation and decantation i think you have understood the practical the process of separation sedimentation and decantation so let us define what is sedimentation and what is decantation look at the board now look at i have written sedimentation what is sedimentation definition of sedimentation the so sedimentation is a process of settling down of insoluble heavy particles in a mixture on their own settling down of heavy particles in a mixture on their own when left undisturbed for some time as i have done in our activity i have let the mixture of the soil and the sand for 5 to 10 minutes 5 to 10 minutes that is the some time when left undisturbed for some time this is called the sedimentation 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 is the process of settling down of insoluble heavy particles in a mixture on their own when left undisturbed for some time this is the definition of sedimentation you will write down the definition and draw the diagram whatever i have shown you during activity again again next process i will just define you note down i will leave this definition for one minute you just note down quickly then i will define the definition of decantation is it clear have you written have you written the definition i think you have noted down yes note down the definition of sedimentation yes i am just cleaning the board yes i am cleaning the board you note down the you note down note down the sedimentation i am writing decantation decantation next is the decan decantation decantation make clean the board yes i will clean the board i am cleaning the board I'm just noting down the definition and i am cleaning the board 
and again I will write the definition of decantation. Is it clear? Now look at here. Decantation is the process of obtaining Di obtaining clear water water obtaining clear water pouring pouring into the another container into the another container is it clear decantation decantation is the process process of obtaining clear water i have shown you during activity clear water pouring into the another container i have just pour the clear water into the another glass another container this is called e is called decantation 